What do you mean by abominable acts when we are living in wealth? Mama, do you as want the moment? We are living in wealth as the moment, as the case may be as of, as I'm speaking with you at the moment. Okay. We don't have any issue in our home. I don't even know why they brought this to social media in the first place because we don't have any Hello, good afternoon, Ma. Good afternoon. Ma, please, how are you doing? I'm doing great, are you? I'm very well, thank you. Madam, please, um, before I go into details why I invited you down to this place, I would first of all appreciate you for honoring my invitation. Please, um, who is this young lady beside you? She's my daughter, my first daughter. Your first daughter, okay. This young man here, Uncle? He's my son. All right. Okay, uh, Mama, there is an issue they brought to my table. And this very issue was actually brought to me by your last baby girl. Hmm? And it is because of this very issue that I'm hiding your identity. Please, I don't want to know your name, and I don't want to know the name of any then the name of your children. I don't want to know their name. I don't want to know the name on, of anybody that is involved in this very issue. But at the same time, I would want you to tell us nothing but the truth your daughter your last child came to us concerning what is happening in your family she started by telling us that the devil lives in their house i told her that i do not understand what she meant by that then she said that she caught her dad sleeping with her elder sister and her mom making out with her elder brother. I did not believe that. I have to invite my seer into it. When my seer looked into it, he said that what the young girl said is true. I want to be brief. That what she says is the truth. I now ask the girl, okay, how did you find out this very issue? She told me that one day she came back from school and started hearing some funny sound. She has to trace that sound to her father's room only to see the father making out with her elder sister, this one here. She confronted her elder sister and the elder sister shouted at her and warned her never to say it to anybody like that one is not enough she said two days after or thereabout she caught the mother making out with the elder brother she told me that it took her like 30 minutes to regain herself from the shock and later she confronted the mother and the mother told her that what did she know that all she knew is just to eat food, eat food, and nothing more. I want phone, they will buy phone for her. I want clothes, they will buy clothes for her. She wants money, they will give her money. That, that is all she knew. And you went ahead to warn her, never will she say that thing to anybody, what she saw to anybody. She said that it didn't stop at that, that this thing continue happening, even as we are speaking that it is still happening to the extent of she running away from the house she ran to your younger sister's place you called her on the phone begging her to come back she refused then you have to go to your younger sister's place to plead with her to come back she refused then you went ahead to beg her not to say it to your younger sister you left and she became dumbfounded that was when she saw my program on social media and decided to reach out to us and we invited her down to this place when she came here she was not able to narrate this story to us all she did was to cry that what she saw her eyes saw is very heavy for her mouth to say that she cannot say it she started crying and i ended up narrating this story to my seer by myself after that my seer said we should invite the sister being your first daughter we invited her down to this place we told her what your last baby said and asked her what she has to say about it. She denied everything. 
But at the end, she started telling us that it is condition that read her into doing that. That you guys, the family is very poor. That you guys are poor. That to feed becomes a very big challenge. That you guys do different kind of work to put food on the table. To the extent of her sleeping with men to get money for food. So when this thing started, everything started turning around. She went ahead to tell us, let me summarize it. She went ahead to tell us that it is better that she is doing what she is doing and to live in wealth than to stay, that not to do that thing and live in poverty. As in, you better say she, they sleep with the dad, they enjoy the life she is enjoying now than not to sleep with the dad and live in poverty that you guys really suffered but she said if we want to know more that the brother who convinced her after you guys called the both of them to tell them what you guys want them to do they refused but the brother convinced her that if i want to know more that we should invite the brother that the brother can say it then when we invited your son down to this place I told her what the last baby said. I told her what your daughter here said. And I asked him what he has to say. He started shouting. That who brought this issue to the public, to the social media? After shouting, I calmed him down. He told me that we will not understand. That he lacks words to describe how poor the family is when he was born. That he did different kinds of job, conductor, barrel pushing, all kinds of job just to make sure that the family succeed. That when you guys were suffering, that nobody came to their rescue. That it is now they are enjoying. He said he's married, he's living alone. He has so many, he has achieved so many things through this very issue. That he's not sure that he can stop doing this thing. Because nobody was there when you guys were suffering. So why now that he's enjoying that we are talking, uh, talking to him about stopping? But after narrating all these things to us, I brought my seer into it. My seer said that they have not, no one has, that he needs somebody that will tell him the origin of this very issue. How all these things started. And he went ahead and said that as long as you are consigned that you will know something about this that your husband that you must have discussed this thing with your husband before you people embark on it because he first of all asked of your husband your son said he traveled then he asked of you he said you are available yes you were supposed to come here next day but he did not make it no problem but i thank god that today you are here so ma haven't heard what your children said that is happening in your family what do you have to say concerning this very thing? Thank you. Hmm. I heard you clearly and loud. Okay, first of all, before you start, how true is this thing they said to us? Hmm. It's very, very heavy in my mouth to say it. I don't know where to start. Mama, just start anywhere. Hmm? Just tell us how true what your children said to us is. Well, what they said is true. Jesus Christ. Like for real. Okay, Mama. But what pushed you and your husband into such an abominable something? What is the problem? What do you mean by an abominable act when we are living in wealth? Mama, do you as want... The moment. We are living in wealth as the moment, as the case may be as, of, as I'm speaking with you at the moment. Okay. We don't have any issue in our home. I don't even know why they brought this to social media in the first place because we don't have any problem. Mama, you asked me a question. You said, what do I mean by abomination? Mama... Sleeping with your own very son is a very big taboo. Is this a, 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 a taboo and a sacrilege in the eyes of man and God? You know, 
it is not good even within yourself you know it is not good your husband sleeping with your daughter it is a i don't know how to that works to describe the kind of bad thing this thing is so please what you are doing you have told us that it is the truth what you are doing is the tr- is, is is a sin is a taboo is an abomination so that is it so tell us talk to us let's hear where we are you people when we are living in poverty in abject poverty when we are you people then we are here you never came to me eh? yes you never came to me had even you came to us we would have at least find a way of existing even if we don't have to give to you people at least we can talk to our fans to help us raise something for you instead of indulging in such art it is so beverage so what pushed you people into this thing is what we want to hear my brother is a very long story it's a very long story just cut it short to be honest with you i'm really really ashamed of myself okay being here okay in sight of the whole world looking at us even though they don't know our identity yes we know we have committed a lot but something brought about this issue thank you very much that is something we want to know that's something that brought about this issue is what we want to know exactly so tell us in the past okay we have suffered terribly okay we have been in abject poverty for years okay suffering okay putting table before our very eyes a very big problem then okay we couldn't eat okay we couldn't find anyone to rely on or to okay. beckon on to help us okay at a time we had a terrible problem that brought us that lured us mm. into this mess okay we found ourselves into okay in fact i don't really want to go in details I don't really want to go in details okay whether you want to go in details or not just let us know this problem that reeled you people into such an abominable act hmm. this is my very last child that brought this issue here okay her case was a very very serious case okay. there was a time he was suffering an ailment that at all our hard in money even though we are living in poverty okay we couldn't even eat okay. talk more of taking her to the hospital okay at a time it it, see, it looks like me as as if someone cost my family because my husband was in a terrible mess that he couldn't help the matter i too couldn't help too okay so at a very time in life the whole mess put him looking helter help running helter skelter okay. looking help okay. from one angle to the other okay. to the extent we run into churches okay. many prayer houses okay. we couldn't find any help okay. the sickness was so bad that my daughter looking at my daughter dying seriously on daily basis okay. i couldn't help it so okay. my husband let her run to one a very good friend of his okay. hmm, who has been helping in one way or the other okay. but that, that fateful day okay. the friend refuses to help him again okay. he told him please my friend i can no longer help you again okay I have to take you to a place where, could, where you could get a best solution to your problem okay. to put a stop to what you are facing in your family. Okay. <laughs> On a very good, faithful day, okay. he followed him to a place okay. where I do not know about. Okay. But when he returned, he came back to my house okay. and started telling me what he saw. Okay. at that very point okay. according to my husband all right he saw many people there okay. 
many of them. Okay. He said that the people he saw, they told him that in fact, they have to be honest with him. Okay. That what they are about to tell him now is what they have been experiencing for the past years okay. that made them to be in wealth and in riches. Okay. Okay. So what is this thing that they told your husband that they have been oh, doing? Oh God. You are pushing me to the wall. Mama, calm down. Put yourself together. I am not pushing you to the wall. We just want to find out this thing so that we know the best solution we have to give to you people. So please. It's very, very heavy. I know. It's very, very heavy. I know, I know it is heavy, but I I assured you that nobody knows your identity. Nobody is seeing your face. Nobody. So what is this thing that they told your husband? that they have been doing that made them to be swimming in wealth they told my husband that he has to be sleeping with his daughter okay. and i have to be sleeping with my son jesus christ of nazareth and so this is what they they are also doing yes all of them in fact that organization is a secret organization Okay. So after your husband told you this thing, what did you say? At a time, I disagreed with him because looking at the issue in the sight of men is not a good ome. Okay. I did, I totally disagree with him for a moment. Mm -hmm. But at the time, I started having a second thought. When I look at my child, this is my last child, okay. dying on daily basis, okay. no money to take him to the hospital to start treatment, at least to give her a better treatment to know if she can recover. Okay. So at the point, I was fully convinced in my mind okay. than to accept that offer okay. as the last offer. So we started. And ever since we started, mm -hmm. In that action, okay. things started turning around for us, okay. and I started seeing money, and I took my child to the hospital. Okay. At a time, my child started recovering because money we can money. yes, okay. we couldn't experience the poverty again. Okay. So we started living in a normal life every other family can live. Okay. In wealth, we have acquired so many things. So, okay. my daughter recovery recovered quickly okay. because we had that money, okay. and things started turning around. Okay. okay. So now we've known the main reason why you guys went into this issue. So now, what do you have to say concerning this thing? Because we are here for a solution. We we want you people out. Hmm. Eh? We want you people to out to stop committing this atrocity. What do you have to say about it? Hmm. I don't really get you. What you are saying that you want us out? How? We don't have any problem now because everything has normalized. We have no issue now. Like you are, and you enjoy now everything has been going normal. You enjoy sleeping with your son. I know that is a taboo. I'm not really enjoying it, but something lured me into it. Okay, so why don't you want to stop now? I don't really want us to go back to, in that actual abject poverty because we really suffered. You won't even believe what we experienced in the past. You won't even believe it. To be honest with you. Mama, I I believe, I understand everything you are saying. I understand what it means to be poor. I understand what it means for a young girl to sleep with men to just to get money to put food on their table. I understand what it feels for a young guy to do different kinds of jobs just to make the family succeed. I know how it feels to be poor. Yes. But that is not enough reason. I must put it to you. I, that is not enough reason for you people to indulge in such art. Yes, I know that this sickness of your daughter pushed you guys into 
what you guys did but there would there would have been an option rather than sleeping with your own son and your husband sleeping with his daughter it is not good it is very very bad in the eyes of god and in the eyes of man so please we need you people to stop this act i beg you hmm? what do you have to say hmm. i don't know what else to say again because my husband who started it all is not here and he's not in town okay but your children said they want out um sister do you want to stop this lifestyle or you want to continue yes i want to stop it i'm tired of it okay brother do you want to stop this act or you want to continue for me i want to stop it because i'm tired of it mama you heard what your children said but before i go for that let me bring sia into this very issue and hear what sia has to say concerning this thing that is happening sia ekene kwangi nkuku biko ya bu nne umu aka aina apo unya aina ewe tero obya gune eba anu bo sinketa unwe kori e iye unwe wa ingi ipa azo kola ayi we gwa ziye ya iye adie wa ayi gwa la ayi gwa kwe nke idiopari ya gwa la ayi we si eke yu uweli ikuna ya bihe o we se mo Normal ebo ge bide bido, omalo de ebo ga akusi akusi. Mwe se ya bide ebo obona, buo ya bi hen kenke. Mwe jwo ya, iya ou ma ki e kou, e ezi o kou ka asin. O se mou, ne ezi o kou. Mwe se ya, ke iye patara ya bi hen. O gwa mou na ha, ta wu a ta la izi bo afufun. Oge gara aga. Na mbo onu rudia. Na onu rudia na afufu. Ha mbo onu izizi ha na afufu. Mbo onu kibu ha na afufu. Na ha taburo we ha na afufu. Na ha na aluka. Elephant. We ene eri. Ka abuse. Mwe siya. Ke iye bi si iye batare ya na. Si ya mchore ye ma iye batare ya. Ose mna unwe nki bazwa hon. We, aruwa na aya. Na aruwa ujideri yeni inene hawe. Gipo. Ose ino ule ebe hane eti eho oku. Na cho ochiyo. No ono oguo. Une epelew. Na nke dibya no ule ebe hana agaforo. Eba hana azo yabu mwata kere endo. Manu utu awu hezi. Ode weto uye. Makana ega adero. Ose ne ebe diye no na wari. No ule ebe diye na agaforo fwe ye maaka. Nuhuru ye kweri ye haka. No utu ezi buo ye kwa ga kuru ne ye vuru haka. Ya buo ke se. No manye ziri haka ozo. Ne ya biya kwa opori ya ga ebo ge wete. Solution ni hona cho. Kwa ki ba ge buri ya ya bu mpa ihe ne miya. No buru ogo bu no ne ye ego. Ne ya biya kwa kuziri ye kwa gisi wote ya bi ego. Owe solu. E ye woka angaba. Uye si na, na mbe di e bata we kori e be haga, iye menon, o si no we e be haga, ni iha bo tu nzuzo, nu mu o ke ndo ozo, no pe e ba an, na mbo ru le ba an, agwa di e, ne izi o kwe zi o kun, ni iha ne me, haji we e di ka hade, haji we e ne e gu mmiri ne e go, haji we e e go meru mmiri ne e gu e gu, bo na hane e di na, o mwa a ka ha, Na habu woke ne edina unha waa ya nuye hane edina unha woke. No ya bihe. O sinadie e bata wee kori ya ya bihe. Nambu no kwete lo. Mano obya na ya niye ne eme unwe waa ya. Owe e semba. Na kama unwe waa ya honga unwona rie. Ka hame wo ya bihe. O si hama ni teme wo ya bihe. Ka hama ni teme wo ya bihe. O no do ba wee. Ego bata wa. Aporo ya bo mwa takire, go on na ogun. Ewe gwa wye ya bo ya. Ose kwa ne izi oku, izi oku. Agwa tazi kwa ya bo mwa takire, ya bo ya. Owe na ajuzi, na ike ba eno, na wye na akwe, na 
na ai cholo ka akusi ya biye ha na eme osim ke eba ino mbwe ha na atafufu wa ha oweburu kita wa ha dialo hamma ka na abia agwa ha ka akusi ya biye no wodi ye na eme na ndu ha osikwa na ezi oku ezi oku no buru kwa na ona ni ya bi ihe ona eme na ati oto mana na ochori na chi azu na ndu na afufu ha na atabu na mbu mwesigi biko do 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 ne tufuru ogi obuna ki ne baguda ya na ya bi ihe ke maru ndu modu ni ya aka iweri yere ezi na ona o ma ke ese na ha chori ekwusi ya bi ihe but why say no maru kwa ka ga akwusi ha anadi ebo nye bidori ya bi ihe anoro kwa eba diko ne baguda ya ke egwa goda ya ihe iku na ya bu oku ekene kwa ngi nku oku <coughs> okay see i want to say something see ya biko gani iru gwam ihe iwe di iku na oku a ana me egenti oku izi oku na ogbe nye ono nto na madi ipu ogbe nye ono nto okwa na aji ye See, I said it is true eh, that w- that to live in poverty is a very bad thing. Say, is a bad thing to live in a poor like, to live a poor life is a bad thing. See, I'm against you, you know. Man, I'm not born to be happy. I'm born to be happy. But this lifestyle you people are living is worse than poverty itself. See, I'm against you, you know. Makana. Na imu mwifa, hane ewa angole, manu kwa nomu, kana hu. See, I said, inside of you, you guys are happy. But, you, you said, you guys are happy, but inside, you guys are dying. See, na, bye, wuna di, bye like this. See, ya na manu hini hu. Maka ase kwa na abu, abu, abu zu. Ne eloku, osi no manu kwa na asha. Because he said that cricket, when cricket started burning, he will say that it is oil that he's producing. See, I'm not even a fool. Man, if it is a bad one, I have to sell it. We call it a no one fa. We sell it for a guy in Nigeria, in Nandua. Okay. See, I said, what is there that you people have to agree within yourself, agree together that you guys want to stop this thing? You are doing. See, I'm making tea in you. In we go ne bukwa no galanya, bukwa no sinachi. See, to get wealth, eh, to live in wealth, comes from God. Yes, the Bible said that God make it rich and added no sorrow. Yes, God's wealth does not come with condition. God will never ask you to lay with your son for him to bless you. Or ask your husband to lay with his daughter for him to bless him. No, he make it rich and added no solo. See, I'm against you, you know. My God, no do a fan on ya. Mhm. We fag a bit of a fufia. Mhm. Oya kalo famma. Mhm. A fan on no bunye. Okay. Kalia. Mhm. Na ta fufunya bunjo. See, I said this condition, this thing you people are doing. When the repercussion will come, when you will start suffering concerning this very thing that then you will know that living in poverty is very very far better than enjoying this wealth you are enjoying now yes that if the thing will go happen this thing as in the repercussion the consequences of this thing you people are doing when it starts happening to you when when you people face it you will know that that day you will open your mouth and say had i know i would have been living in that poverty than doing this one that is happening now see ana manu hi na oku um keta abugbo okay maka na si no si ta ta de ba ma na o de wa lo gbo see i said it is still early for you guys to have a u turn yes that if if you guys have a u as in make turn away from such life today that you did it early enough see ana manu hi na oku nya bu nwa ni mhm ife ma gbe abo mhm nya no mu ya kwekoleta 
Nifa ya bia na njedebe. Tupu. E naba. Ije wadia. Ok. Makana. Iye dia geme debe po. Obu godi na opa dejo. Mm -hmm. Na na nyafuna. Nya na omu ya. E kwa kwa leta gondi. Ika gufa na facha wala kwa bia na njedebe. Mm -hmm. Nya bu mwoke. E mwere yozo. Kaliyama. Isu ha kwa kwa Onu maka basalo nya bife. Ok. See I said that you have to agree with your children that you want to stop this thing you people are doing madam do you really want to stop this thing <sighs> fat <sighs> since my daughter and my son mm -hmm. has disagreed with me okay. i have no option than to accept but my problem mm -hmm. will my husband accept will he accept our faith that we are totally down okay. and tired of this. See, I said that once you agree with your daughter, your children, when your husband comes back, you will tell him that you guys have decided to end that lifestyle that you guys don't want to do again. That even if he doesn't want to accept, when he looks at that we are five and four people has accepted to stop this lifestyle, he will have no other choice than to join you people. Yes. Make up your mind. Your children has made up their mind to stop this lifestyle. So you make up your mind. Stand with your children. Call your last baby. I, she's not staying with you. She told us. She's living with your younger sister. Call her. You people will join hands together and say no to this lifestyle. Eh? See Anna Manu Hinuku. Amo again ye fo hele. Okay. Kafana. Okay. De malo kafa ge si we to wali ubi. Okay. Dia nan na umaka. Okay. Mana hame kwa ngwa ngwa. Maka ama wokwa na nya bije. Mhm. Mm Ayala bo belije. Maka nya bi ya no ni mia ya ja kuogo. Mana okay. mkwa ne kwefabo. Mhm. Mm How will be funny in a quarter and a fatal possier? Mhm. Mm Nagi okay. may be ye ni ne basalea. My milo ya nisi. Okay. No well if a gamenatando on your bonan on his nona. Okay. See, I said that we are going to give you people the opportunity to go home, sit down, and decide on what you want to do. Is that do you want out or do you still want to remain? in such act that if you people decide to come out hmm, that what is assuring you that nothing will happen to any of you including your husband that is he said that in the process of destroying this thing doing cleansing for you people that that spirit behind that thing will come for a fight for a war but he's assuring you that nothing will happen to your family at all that we will stand with you people to the end until he make sure that he destroy everything. Eh? Well, within me, I'm fully convinced now. This is our final solution. I believe that we'll get a positive answer here. Okay. I think I will have to go back. Okay with my kids and try and convince my husband. Okay. There's no two ways about it. Okay. We have agreed to put an end to, it. to this taboo. Okay. Okay. See ya. Ya bo mwa ye se na. No okwe te go. Ni mo uwe na uwe ni ne mburo bie. No okwe te go yi kose ya bi he. No o gana. Ya no mwa ke ya gana. Na haga wani. He chose a si me kadie pwete na ye hakuru. Na haga a chose a hage isi we dota mburo bidi ha. Mburo bidi ha. Kwa wakuka hako se ya bi he. Oho ya wakuku. Nsu buwa de ro. Ok. Maka nwa kwa nwa bi fe bo kwa niye kwe selon na ge eme. Ok. See I said there is no problem that this is exactly what is supposed to be done. Eh? And you people should act fast. He said that you people should act fast because the spirit behind this thing you guys have been indulging in will come for a fight. See, Anna Manu, you Um, 
Aiga ni fia sana anya. Okay. Anye bu mado. Okay. Malo kwa na. Ibo galanya. Mm -hmm. Ni mwego. Mm -hmm. Kwa na ona tarachi. Na unyinye chukuji ya mwogo. Okay. See I said we have to be very careful. In our quest to be rich. To be wealthy. Eh, that we should be very careful of the things we do. Now we should not forget that. Getting wealth comes from God. Eh? That it is what God used to reward his children. He uses this wealth, wealth to reward. He said he was made poor for us to be rich. I don't see any reason why you should go and do undo just because you want to make this wealth. Wealth that you will make and you will not enjoy. Your mind will not be at peace. Wealth comes from God. And it comes with no condition. Know this today and no peace. See, we was here with you, Kuna Abu, who on Gani Rumeche Abu program. Eventually, Kubo. Mhm. Naima la Maluna. In Wolokwano, Uzo has an odd in fe, in Wego, Mobuzo Pelompe, Mobuzo din so, in Wetenya Bego, Niobo ne for Bozo, as again odd in so. In Wetego, Maluno, Ye do, Ye Gana Pogin do Guinea, Mboge Gelo. Gabu okay. in Wetanya Bego, Yala Conafuzo, where Lienya Bego, Lia Nudo. Okay, see, I said there is no shortcut to making wealth, to making money. There is no shortcut. That any person that te told you that or said to you that there is a shortcut, that you follow this place, that is a shortcut to getting wealth. My brother, the end of that road is full of distraction. At the end of the day, you go by, you will not have any peace. At the end of the day, you will still buy on top. So what is the need? There is no shortcut to making wealth. See, I'm my genti. Yeah, but can I buy a puanya? Na kani si atunya buego. Then he said that we should be careful in our quest to making wealth. Just be very careful. Mind the path you trade. All in the name of you want to be rich. And I'm anu ine kusia. Na ni bos ai gana abambo moluaka na chuku kike. All right. See, I said that we should just find something doing. Get yourself working. Indulge in a business, a genuine business or something that God will bless that your handwork. It is in the Bible. He said he will bless the works of your hands. For Christ's sake. Eh? Madam, you heard what Sia said concerning this very issue so please the area the better so that you people will come for cleansing yeah you people have to come for cleansing that one we won't do it on camera yes we will not do it on camera but do as he said and be fast about it hmm? so that you people will be free so that you people will start enjoying the life God gave to you. Hmm? So that is that about that. People, you guys have heard this very story. Now we've known the origin of this very issue. And if you heard what Sia told them to do, thank God they accepted with us. What we, what we wait for now is for the husband to come back for her to talk to her husband madam whatever be the outcome between you and your husband please call me on the phone and let me know then we will take it up there if it will happen if you want us to come in we will come in to convince your husband all i know that once this thing is destroyed once the cleansing is done a bigger door will be opened for your family you are not going back to poverty never because our Heavenly Father was made poor for us to be rich. So fear not, for He is with you. He will protect you and He will guide you and your family. That is it. So that is that about that. So people, 
without wasting anybody's time, I want you to go to the comment section. Tell me what you feel concerning this very issue. And as you are commenting, please comment respectfully. Don't forget to like and share after watching. Above all, subscribe to stay updated. As you continue to follow Skid Row Comedy to stay updated, as you continue to be a royal and faithful fan, may God bless you now and always. Amen. Now, now don't watch this program and you learned something from it. You enjoyed it. Please, I need your support. The support I need from you is just to share this video, make it go viral for the world to watch and learn. For them to disease from such act, it is not good. Hmm? But thank God today, we've won souls. Yes. So please, as you are sharing this video, do not forget that we live in a cold world. We are best friend by best friend. We are love one by love one. Where those you trust so much betrays you. We live in a cold world where it is better to dine and wine with the enemy than to keep yourself to that bosom friend, that bestie, that loved one, that person you trust so much that will end up to buy you tomorrow. Because now who no man, now in the buy man. Even the Bible said it. Please do not misquote me and do not misunderstand me. Rather, click on the share button and share this video as many times as you can. And as you do so,